Hi there mommy! In this video I'm going to talk about manual breast pumps, why you may want one, and most importantly how to use it. Are you ready? Let's go! Be confident and successful in your breastfeeding journey. A manual pump is a great tool for all breastfeeding moms. It's great to have on hand, even if you plan to never pump or if you are an exclusive pumper and you're using an electric pump, you may still want a manual pump. They don't take electricity, so you can use them anytime, anywhere. They're easy to take apart and set up. They're easy to clean. They're just very convenient and useful for a lot of moms. Some moms end up getting more milk out of a manual pump than they do with an electric pump. They're usually more comfortable, they don't have quite as much suction, but they can remove even more milk for a lot of moms than their electric pump can. Manual pumps are usually under $30 and there's several great brands and I'll list some below for you to check out, but they're all really similar. I'll just be showing you today on a Medela pump though. Don't get these confused with a silicone pump, also called Haka, but other brands make them. These are totally different and for totally different uses. So today I'm talking about manual breast pumps. Manual pumps are not meant for heavy use, but I know moms who use them all the time and do just fine. They will wear out, and if you're using them a lot, the parts need to be changed more often. Now they're meant for one user, so they're not meant to be sold or shared with another mom. So buy a new one, don't buy a used one. I've seen moms on the internet say, well just boil it twice. That doesn't work. Please don't use one that another mom has used. The first time you do use it, you want to wash it thoroughly and boil it for 10 minutes. After that, you can just wash it either hand wash or in the dishwasher in between uses. Uh, check your own pump what their directions are, but most are dishwasher safe. Most manual pumps only come with one size of flange and the Medela comes with a 24, so it just if you happen to be that size. So with any pump, your flange size isn't by how large your breast is, it's how wide your nipple is. So to size your nipple in your in your flange, your nipple, when the pump is on or the manual pump is on, your nipple should be able to move pretty freely in and out of the flange tunnel here. If your nipple is going too far in and pulling areola in, it will hurt, it won't empty your breast well, and it just won't work well. If your nipple is going into the flange and it can't even move, then again, it's not going to get milk out well and it can cause damage and pain. And a pump should never be painful. Like breastfeeding sometimes is a little uncomfortable. Pumping should not be painful. For you to check what size flange you need, you're going to measure your nipple, how many millimeters it is from side to side. So you can have somebody help you or you can measure to see how wide your nipple is to see what size that you need. A really easy trick to see what you need is to take a dime, a penny, a nickel, or a quarter. This one's going to be closer to a nickel, probably more like a quarter. This has a, a larger nipple. And that tells you the size that your nipple is, so you can find the right flange size. So a dime is about equal to 18 millimeters, and that would make you fit in a size 21 flange. A penny is about 19 millimeters, and that would fit you in a size 24 flange. A nickel is 21 centimeters, and that would fit you in a 27. And a quarter is 24 millimeters, and that would fit you in a 30. Now, if you are going to be pumping a lot, be sure to check out some of my other videos on pumping because there's some things that you'll need to do to keep your supply up. So I won't go totally into that today, but check that out if you're doing more than just occasional pumping. Now, most pumps anymore come with a stand to keep it upright, but there's not very much milk in there. They can still be top heavy and fall over. I tell moms just to get like a sturdy coffee cup and put in and if they fall over a little bit they're not going to completely spill. So I've taken this one apart so you can see kind of how to put it together. It is important that the parts fit tight so that you do have suction and your pump works. So 
you may need to look at the manual for your pump if something's not quite working right. Inside this pump handle goes this flexible membrane. There's a little nub at the top and at the bottom, so you know it goes that direction. And there's a stem that goes inside it and needs to be pushed firmly way down in there. And when that stem piece is in, it should be looking horizontal. There's a line, so it should be running horizontally. And here's your top and bottom. Then it fits into the handle, and you can see there's a little place for this nub to fit right in. And again, be sure that you push that all the way in firmly so that you will have suction. In here is a little tiny O-ring. If that O-ring is missing, you need to contact the manufacturer, or if it wears out, you will need to replace it. If that is not there, you won't have good suction on your pump. And inside your pump is this little membrane. This one is just a flat little piece here. Some will look like this duckbill shape, a silicone membrane. These things wear out. If they're not working right, your pump's not going to work. If this isn't laying flat on this pump, then it won't work. So these do need replaced. I think that most of the pumps come with an extra one or they're really inexpensive if you need to buy a package of a few more. Now for the Medela part, to put it together, everything just pushes firmly together. So here is the part with the membrane, and it's just going to push in place. And it needs to be, though it's important, needs to be um, vertical, not horizontal. It can be on uh, vertically either direction, but it needs to be vertically. So holding your pump like this, your pump part, vertically. Then you're just going to push on the handle push it in firmly. The handle on this one actually rotates for wherever it's comfortable for you, so just know it will move, but it just needs to be pushed in well. Then your flange just gets pushed on. The only thing that gets screwed on is the bottle, and you would think that the bottle um, would need to be screwed really tightly or you wouldn't have suction, but that's it doesn't do that. You can pump without that if you wanted. There are attachments you can get so that you can pump right into a storage bag if you wanted. But if not, you can just pump into the bottle. Now when you put your pump on the breast, your nipple should be centered in the middle of the pump when you start. And you don't want to hang on to the pump by the handle. You want to hold on to it by the flange. Be sure that's pushed in there well. but but you want to hold on. If you're holding on, this part will be on the outside, and so your hand will be on, on all of that. So you'll be holding that on your breast like this, okay? At the top of this particular pump, there's an expression mode. So it's here, and you'll, you'll want to just use your thumb. And the expression mode just helps your body to have a letdown. So when baby goes to nurse, baby starts out real fast. They lots of short sucks to get that letdown to happen. And then once you have a letdown, then baby starts to do slow, long drinks. So that's the same way you're going to do with the pump. So you're going to start with the stimulation, and that could take a minute or two, and it's with your thumb, you can just be pushing that. And then once you start to have a letdown, that's when you can start to do the long, slow pumps when your milk is starting to let down. Now, if that's not comfortable to do it that way, you can do fast pumps on this side, but it's designed to go this way. Now, on, on this pump, you just have different sides, but on some manual pumps, there will be kind of a, a button in there where the handle will be at a different position for the stimulation mode. But like I said, you can just do short, faster on your pumping and still get that stimulation. But once you see milk, start to drip out and come out a little faster, that's when you'll start your pumping. Now, again, it should not be painful. If you're pumping and you're doing a full pump, sometimes that's a lot of suction for some moms. If it hurts, you don't have to do a full pump. You can just do halfway on the pump. You do what works best for you. Some moms go a little more of a rhythm like this, and some moms are a little slower, and they still get plenty of milk out. So it just depends on what works best for you and how your milk is flowing. On the Medela manual pump, the flange is an oval shape. 
and you can move it. You can keep it this direction, but you can turn it however it's most comfortable for you. And also the handle moves, so whatever's most comfortable for you will work just fine. So if you're pumping on the side and this is more comfortable than this, it works just fine either way. Now, if you're pumping because you are engorged, new moms especially get engorged more often, please check out my video on breast engorgement. But I just want to say don't over pump or you're going to make the problem worse. So if you're feeling engorged and you need to do a little bit of pumping, just do minimal pumping. Pump for a few minutes. You may still feel a little engorged. Put some cold compresses on and wait a few minutes. If you still feel engorged, do a little bit more. But if you do a lot of pumping it's just going to make the problem worse so minimal pumping if you're pumping for engorgement there's a lot of moms who prefer a manual pump even over an electric pump if you have an oversupply it helps you to have more control so you're not pumping out way too much milk if you don't respond well to a pump and you're not getting anything out you may get a lot more out with the pump because it's just not so harsh you can control how fast, how much suction, and it's usually just more relaxing. If this video has been helpful for you, can you please give me a quick thumbs up so that it gets shared to other mommies who need to know how to use their manual pump. Let me know below, are you using a manual pump and how's it going? Or if you have any other breastfeeding questions, just ask below and I will try to get back to you just as soon as possible. Thanks a lot, mommy. You got this.